right, here is Shark Attack by Gail Tuchin. All right, so this book has a lot of our text features. Shark Attack. Right, here's the table of contents. Right, so this is where we can locate all these items like our glossary index, shark attacks, eat up. Mm. All right. Ocean Hunters. There's our heading. The short fin Mako is hunting. It speeds towards its prey at 20 miles per hour. Its huge mouth is open and ready. Sharks are the great hunters of our oceans. The short fin Mako is the fastest shark of all. So here's some of our sharks. This is the scalloped hammerhead shark, basking shark, bull shark, great white shark, leopard shark, oceanic white tip shark, tiger shark, Caribbean reef shark, silky shark, and short fin mako shark. Okay. It also has page numbers. Here are more super cool sharks. Sharks are fish. The whale shark is the biggest shark. It's world's it's the world's biggest fish. It can grow up to 40 feet long. The seven inch dwarf lantern shark fits into a person's hand. Its belly gro glows. It can't be seen. It can't be seen from below. It hides the shark from animals that want to eat it. Okay, so then we have other things. See, they're showing you a picture, right? says, this is the smallest shark in the ocean. Okay, so that's the caption for this. Okay, and that's the dwarf lantern shark. It says, this is the biggest shark in the ocean. Mm, captions. The swell shark has a secret. It can swallow lots of water and swell up to twice its size. Now it's hard for another animal to bite it. The short fin mako can leap 20 feet out of the water. So here it is, the swell shark. This is normal and this is what it looks like swelled. So those captions let us know about the swell shark. And here's the short fin mako. Look at how, how it can leap out of the water. Sharks are survivors. They've been swimming in our waters for more than 400 million years. Sharks were here long before dinosaurs ruled the planet. And this right here, this caption says, ancient sharks ate dinosaurs that fell into the ocean. Hmm. Amazing bodies. Why have sharks survived so long? Their amazing bodies make them the best hunters in the ocean. A shark skeleton is made of cartilage. Cartilage bends more easily than bone does. It helps the shark twist and turn in the water. So look, we have a heading up here, amazing bodies. So it lets you know we're gonna learn about their bodies. Okay, here's what it says. Let's see what picture that's in. And the caption says, fins help a shark move forward, balance, and steer. And then we have a close-up picture of it. Denticles are rough scales that protect a shark's body. Teeth are the bony parts of a shark. A shark can use 30,000 teeth in its life. Whoa. A shark takes a takes in water to breathe. The water leaves the body through the gill slits. So it's showing you a close-up picture of the gills. Okay, that's what's right here. And this is a, this is telling us it's a great white shark. You have five senses. 
Sharks have six super senses to track down their prey. Hearing. Sharks hear sounds too low for you to hear. Taste. Your taste buds are mostly on your tongue. Sharks taste buds line their mouths and throats. Smell. You use your nose to smell and breathe. Sharks use theirs for smelling prey. And here's a fun fact. Some sharks can smell blood up to three miles away. This is a nurse shark. And this caption down here says, a great white takes a, it takes a test bite. It tastes to find out if its prey is good to eat. So it takes one bite to check it out. See, should I eat it? And then if it tastes good, he keeps on going. Sight. Sharks can see about 10 times better in low light than you can. Touch. You feel things when you touch them. Sharks feel vibrations from things before they touch them. So sight, and here's a little caption. The blue shark has a special layer in its eye for seeing in, dark, in the dark sea. Electroreception. Sharks have a sixth sense. They sense electricity in other animals. This helps them find out where dinner is hiding. And here's the little caption. These pores can sense electricity. So you notice it's by its mouth on the underside. Scalloped hammerhead shark. And there's the scalloped hammerhead shark. And there's, that's where his, the pores would be that sense the electricity. And then it says new word, electroreception. Electroreception helps sharks find prey that they may, might not find otherwise. Eat up. Eat, oh, so new cap, look at that new caption. I'm sorry, a new heading. So this is a new heading. Remember text features? They always have, we have headings. A shark's main job is feeding. Sharks rarely attack humans to eat them. People are bony and don't taste good. Sharks eat fish and other small ocean animals. They even eat other sharks. So it's showing you it's about what they eat. There's plankton, so it's stingray, squid, old boot. <laughs> a tiger shark will eat anything, even a boot. So there's a tiger shark and it's telling us he could eat, might eat a boot. The nurse shark traps and sucks up squid. So that's our nurse shark. He's going to eat the squid. The hammerhead shark likes stingrays best of all. So there's our hammerhead shark. He likes the stingrays. The giant whale shark eats tiny plankton. Tons of it. And there's the tiny plankton. A great white shark tracks a seal. The seal is rich in fat. The shark swims fast near the top of the water. It's now a few feet from the seal. The great white points its snout upward. It bursts out of the water with its, its jaws open wide. It pushes its upper jaw and teeth forward. Its teeth find their mark. Chomp! It's a fact. <laughs> so there's, there he is eating the seal. A horn shark sense, sense, a horn shark sense an egg case. It bites with strong jaws and flat back teeth. Crunch. So sense it means he's getting ready to eat it. He could smell it. Slurp. A cookie cutter shark attaches its lips to prey. It bites, it bites using pointy razor sharp teeth. The shark cuts out a bite as round as a cookie. Oh boy. There he is right there, cookie cutter shark. 
Look at those teeth. Woo. A basking shark glides through the sea. Its mouth is open. It collects water and strains out plankton with its gill rakers. So there he is, basking shark. So he's he will take in a whole bunch of stuff and it strains out the plankton. So plankton are tiny animals drifting in the ocean. Coral reefs, coral reefs teem with ocean life. One in four kinds of all ocean animals are found here. Sharks rule coral reefs. They keep reefs healthy by eating weak and sick animals. So there's the white tip reef shark. Coral reefs are made from the skeletons of billions of tiny sea creatures. Black tip reef shark. And you see some other creatures in there too. Shark attacks. People are more likely to be killed by sharks in Australia than in any other place, but the number of attacks is small. Around the world, crocodiles, dogs, and pigs each kill more people every year than sharks do. People are a much bigger danger to sharks than sharks are to people. So this is a map, right? A map of Australia. And we learned a map is a text feature. So it's letting us know, okay, how many, it's how many, um, says this map shows the number of shark attacks in Australia between 1700, wow, a long time ago, and 2012. The total is 510. So this is how many attacks there's been in many, many, many years. Okay, so it's showing you how many in each area. Okay, so. Sharks under attack. Humans are sharks' main predators. As many as 100 million sharks are killed by people every year. Shark fins are used to make shark fin soup. And there's the picture, right? There's our caption. That's why they're showing us soup, is to show us this is shark fin soup. And that many times sharks are killed to make this soup. Many sharks are caught in nets for other fish. Okay, so sometimes we, sharks end up dying because they get caught in fishing nets. Dr. Ellen K. Pickich is a scientist and shark hugger. She says, sharks are sensitive creatures. They need our help. They must not be killed in the numbers they are now. One way to help them is to create safe areas where they won't be hunted. We must work to get the word out about the danger shark face. Okay. So boys and girls, what they're trying to tell us is that we kill many more sharks every year than sharks kill people. So that we're their main predators, which means we're a shark. We're actually the shark's biggest danger because <laughs> we hurt them more than anything else. World of sharks. We humans find sharks to be both terrifying and beautiful. There are more than 400 kinds of sharks in our seas. They are unlike any other animals on earth. Let's help. Uh, let's help them survive. Let's keep the seas swimming with super cool sharks. Their future depends on our respect for them and their watery world. And the caption says, blue shark feeds on a school of anchovies in the warm waters off California. All right. So, and then at the end, another text feature that some nonfiction books have is a glossary. Right. So if you are interested in reading the glossary, you can pause the video and read the glossary if you'd like. Remember, glossary tells us the definition of words. 
Okay, so this gives you the definition of some words that were in our in our text. And then at the very end, we see an index. And an index is another text feature that some nonfiction books have. And it lets you know where to find certain things. So if you want to know where to find the page on Australia, you just look right here. Okay, so you look through. If you want to see different types of sharks, like if you want to see where the hammerhead shark is, okay, it's on page 4, 15, and 17. So you would just turn there. I hope you enjoyed our story today.